Hey guys, it's Marco again. Today I have an interesting video, my conclusion from all the dummy testing with Arcane, Fire and Frost. How much will your DPS increase with set bonus and double legendary power? I did this on solo targets only, I started testing a long time ago, my freshest results are with frost mages, which received changes. I took it easy in order that I don't burn myself too much. Hopefully unlike me, you guys will burn the like and subscribe button to help me fight the YouTube algorithm raid boss. My biggest difficulty in this testing was, well, time investment, about 50-ish hour investment, but hey, some good music can get you a long way. I had 400 overall pulls, 80 for arcane, and 160 for Fire and Frost, since I wanted to test both Covenant options for those packs. Basically, I did 20 pulls with current gear, 20 with two set pieces, 20 with full set, and last 20 pulls is for full set plus double legendary. I had all the buffs that I could get, so Arcane Intellect, Potion, Flask, Feast, Augment Rune, Oil, and Time Warp. I literally did the simulations the hard way. First, let's start with Arcane. My gear for Arcane is the worst stats-wise, and my average item level is 256. On average, my base damage was 10,353 DPS in a 5-minute dummy test. All the tests were done in 5-minute environment. When I would equip to set bonus, my DPS jumped by around 3.5%, so the damage would end up at 10,725 DPS. With 4 set bonus, I would see around 6% increase with the damage, getting to 11,372. Lastly, with double legendary, the damage would increase by additional 5%, which got me to the final 11,933 DPS. Next up, we have Fire Mages. I was also running 256 item level, with a bit better stats balance. This pack is playable with both Night Fey and Ventir. First, we'll do Ventir. My average pull was at 10,682 DPS without anything. Two set piece didn't do a lot, it increased my DPS by about 1.1% and my damage would end up at 10,799 DPS. Finally, the difference maker, but still kinda bad damage wise, is the fourth set bonus, which boosted my damage by about 6.9%, and that's 11,546 DPS overall. The biggest change happened when I equipped the double legendary, Mirrors of Torment cooldown got really low and that boosted my DPS by quite a lot, around 8% DPS increase. And that lands us at the final 12467 DPS. Now for the Night Fae Mages. We're starting with a bit bigger DPS at around 11109 DPS. First set bonus is a bit better with Night Fae and it's a 1.7% damage increase which leads you to 11,298 DPS. 4 set bonus for Night Fae is quite good, and it gets you quite high with 8.2% damage increase. And that brings me to 12,227 DPS. Finally, the double legendary is also as disappointing as the two set piece. It gave a measly 1.8% damage increase, which propelled me just behind Ventir Fire at 12,449 DPS. Lastly we got Frost Mages, I was running Comet Storm with them and I always combined it with Flurry. Same goes for 2 set bonus, I tried to pair it with Flurry as best as I could. I just need to say that Comet Storm got buffed since it doesn't consume Flurry but benefits from it. Which is a big increase for your Icy Veins uptime and overall damage, since your whole Comet Storm will be a guaranteed critical. My gear for Frost is great, I clocked myself at 256 item level, but with superb stats. I'll start with Venture Frost. My base damage was 11,187 DPS. Using the first set bonus, my damage was increased by about 8.7%. So yeah, Frost 2 piece is miles better than Arcane and Fire 1. Kinda unfair, but I'm not doing the balance. That boosted my damage to 12,162 damage. Full set is disappointing compared to 2 piece, it only increased my damage by about 5.7%, which is still a great bonus. That means that my damage ended up at 12,858 DPS. Lastly, Double Legendary increased my DPS by 6.1%, and that gets us to the number of 13,642 DPS. So basically, Frost Mages have the best progressive buffs to their kit. And for the last Viable Covenant, we got the new boys, and those are the Necrolords. 
I'm getting 11,045 DPS without set bonuses or double legendary and their 2 set bonus damage increase is absolutely insane. With the 2 set bonus I may keep uptime of my icy wins close to 100%, sometimes you will probably be unlucky. That set bonus increases my damage by whopping 10.9%, meaning that I have 12,250 DPS just with the 2 set. 4p set bonus is fine, nothing too special and it boosts my damage output by 5.7% and I land on 12,947 DPS. Lastly, but not least, Double Legendary is also super good for Necrolords. I get about 8.2% damage increase and the final DPS is really insane, 14,009 DPS. Since I'm done with all the numbers, what do these numbers exactly mean? These numbers are actually a nice guideline on how will your spec increase in power with every item acquisition. They also show the potential for scaling power with the better end game gear. Currently it feels like the power scaling of Frost Mages is going to be the greatest in the last patch of the expansion. Thanks to the insane set bonuses and double legendary powers compared to other two specs which aren't going to benefit a lot. I do have to say that the dummy testing isn't a realistic boss encounter. Some specs handle movement better than the others and let's not talk about when you cast your Comet Storm and the boss suddenly moves which just makes your whole Comet Storm miss by a mile. Your entire set bonus difference vanishes at those moments. One more important thing is that these numbers may be quite rough since I only did 20 pulls, which isn't a lot, but it should give you a roughly correct results. Also, there is the human error which definitely happened with arcane mages here and there. I firmly believe that I should have done a bit more damage with them, plus my gear with fire and arcane is on the same item level as frost but not correctly tuned stats wise. Overall, frost mages should always fare better on the dummies and patchwork simulations since there is no downtime. That was generally the case for this whole expansion. I don't need to remind you of Castle Downtime and Sanctum of Waiting. Blizzard developers were quite into designing bosses with stop DPS mechanics or just them talking while they sit there and wait. So a great chunk of your DPS depends on raid encounters. Also Frost has mostly linear damage without big burst. But the problem is that bursts are sometimes needed on the boss encounters like for example Sludge Twist. And just because of them lacking burst they will never get power infusions unless someone is hunting for logs. So what will happen in the upcoming raid? What are my predictions? Well you'll have to wait and see one of my next videos. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my Patreon. I'm offering coaching and log checking. I still haven't gotten anyone who didn't improve after coaching, so if you have troubles with your DPS and want a raid spot or better logs for guild joining, think about it. You're also getting a shout out at the end of every video, which is also nice. Again, big thank you and until next time, take care.